Hey guys, I'm Antoinette Yvonne, and this is my Van Zion, and welcome to my Van Tour. Okay, so the first thing that you see when you enter the van, it's my kitchen setup. I have a little switch here, an entry light switch that just pops on and off. Um, and you see the light there. And then I have an easy pop-up table that just pops up. It's on these little black struts. Um, it's easy for uh, working setup when I am working and don't want to set up the dining in the, in the back. And um, you can simply put this down and swivel the chair around for an easy workstation, eat station, relaxing station, whatever station you want it to be. All right, so here we have my shower and I opted for a shower because I like showers. Um, I, it was just one of my non-negotiables that I wanted in the van and Van Damick worked it out to where they were able to fit my shower every, pretty much everything that I wanted in this short wheelbase that I have a 136 and the ProMaster so I told them I wanted a shower and they made it happen they created this epoxy masterpiece and I absolutely love it um, in the shower we have a up for toilet which I just is just convenient for me um, I am uh, on the scarier side so I won't you won't find me outside using the restroom at night it's very convenient for me to just pop a squat in my van. I have gold fixtures throughout the entire van, the shower um, as well. I have a detachable shower head and I do have some faux eucalyptus just to add that extra pizzazz. So this is my kitchen, a little on the fancier side. Um, when designing the kitchen, I wanted a deep farmhouse sink. I was in love with the farmhouse style. And so the company Van Damick who built my van, we came up with this design. Um, this is a removable cutting board, um, serves as a cutting board if I want, and also just an extra, some extra counter, counter space for this sink area. Um, I chose gold accents, as you can see throughout the entire van, because I love gold. I have an induction, a two burner induction stove. I don't have any propane in the vehicle because I do plan on venturing off um, into Europe and foreign land. So I thought it was best just to have all electric instead of propane. On this left side here, I have three drawers where I store um, utensils, cooking utensils. I have my cups and glasses, wine glasses, a little martini shake here. Um, and then I have just some plates and um, extra utensils for cooking. I do love to cook. So my water runs on a 30 three gallon water tank in the back. I do have a water pump, a switch here that um, pressurizes the water for the sink and as well as the shower. Under the sink, I do have a water filtration system. Like I said, because I will be going to foreign lands and I just want to be sure that the water that I'm consuming is a-okay. I also store um, under the sink a lot of my kitchen things, a lot of the cleaning things, a lot of the toiletries um, for the shower and the kitchen area. So just an extra added space storage. Um, I do have this easy home heater, although I don't use it much because it eats up a lot of my electricity. Um, I would recommend having an alternative like those diesel uh, built-in heaters. On the right here, we have my 12 volt refrigerator. As you can see, it's on the larger side because I like to store a lot of food. <laughs> and I did opt for the air fryer as opposed to nothing or as opposed to a microwave because I like the food that I cook in the air fryer. Um, I wanted my van to be as homely as possible and air fryer makes me feel at home. We have some extra storage here. I 
Um, I store my food, my pantry, and then my cleaning supplies as well. Just extra storage um, down here as well. Down under the fridge, we have some extra storage space where I store my pots and my pans and my bigger kitchen items. All right, so this is my electrical panel here. I have a water pump that pumps the water to my faucet and the shower. I have a gray water switch that releases the gray water underneath the van. I have a Renergy, what is it called? Oh, Renergy inverter switch. I have 3000 watts inverter underneath the benches in my van. And then the battery monitor that lets me know how my electrical is doing. This here is my dimmable light switch that runs these lights um, up top. My love for travel started when I moved to Spain and in the black community a few years ago, it wasn't well known. It wasn't like a lot of people from the black community don't do that. And so this is just another venture for me to to break those barriers and those stereotypes that uh, that black folks don't do. Um, and so so van life again, van life is just another another experience to break those break down those barriers that are that are set so far my experiences on the road have been great not saying that I will run into problems um, but I am very aware of my surroundings I would also recommend other people to be aware of their surroundings um, discerning who to be around who not to be around and, and, and just tapping into that Um, so this is my bed slash dinette area I decided I opted in for this this layout because again I do work full-time on the road and I wanted to have the dinette area so when I am working I don't feel like I'm in the bed working um, I have pretty much all the electrical plugs that I need back here um, and then I also had Van Damick install the reading lights for um, when I am in the bed or reading or something like that I have two reading lights on each side <laughs> I have four cabinets that store pretty much all of my clothes, all of my toiletries. As you can see, I am on the glamour side. So I do have a lot of toiletries, hair products, facial products um, that I store in these two cabinets here. And then my clothes fit in these back cabinets there. So as you can see throughout the van, we have these stitch padding that Vandemic added. I had no clue that they were gonna be adding these. They surprised me with this and I absolutely love it. It adds that extra um, fanciness that I do um, enjoy and love to look at. So thanks Vandemic. <laughs> the cushions are an eight inch memory foam mattress that we had cut up to fit the U-shaped um, dinette set, set here. Um, and I love the extra cushion space under my booty. <laughs> I founded a company globally abroad and, um, it is a study of study and travel abroad company for minority teens and young adults. And through my experiences living abroad and in studying abroad, I wanted to create opportunities for other minorities to do the same as well, to encourage them to get out there and travel. We have international programs throughout, um, throughout Europe as of now. And we are really just, again, breaking those barriers that they can travel abroad if they want um, and have that community to do it with. I found it globally abroad in 2019, April 2019. Um, I am a full-time vlogger and I have been um, a vlogger blogger since 2013 when I initially moved to Spain. And um, just having a platform to share my experiences and also just to encourage others that um, travel is a necessity. Um, a lot of people think that it's a lux luxury, but I believe travel is a necessity. Um, just to experience those, uh, just to experience different cultures, different people from different backgrounds. Meeting up with the group um, that I'm with now, I would have never ventured down this, this rocky road, um, but just the encouraging, um, the encouragement that I received 
and just the reassurement that you can do it. It, you know, I'm, 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 I'm here. Um, my newest favorite memory, especially in van life is, is, is meeting all these wonderful people is, is meeting Sierra and Hillary and also the camera guy, Brian, who brought us all together. Um, today we're going to go for another hike, maybe picnic out on one of those boulders. They had me hiking up, um, and just getting to know them more and, and their background and enjoying what van life really is. Thanks for watching my van tour. If you want to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram and YouTube at Antoinette Yavon. If you want to see what I do for work, then head on over to globallyabroad.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>